had a bit of a conundrum here. Ever since hitting the road with the new rig, I've been getting a bunch of questions about how the rig works, the operation, and a lot of my accessories, and many of these accessories are sponsored items. And I don't wanna try and fit this content into my Saturday adventure videos. So I figured I would start doing some midweek, kind of Wednesday videos to answer some of your guys' questions, get some sponsored content done, and show you guys how the rig is actually operating. One of the first ones that I'm seeing a lot of is people asking about my crooked solar panels. Actually, people aren't asking about it, people are complaining about it. <laughs> and I get it, justifiably, it drives me crazy. So let me explain to you what happened. Let's go take a look. You'll have to excuse the debris field. I'm recording this from the top of the mountain. I'll tell you right off the bat, this is my first experience with any solar. This is 400 watts of stick-on solar sent to me for the build from a company called Bouge RV. When they first reached out, I didn't know how I felt about the idea of a stick-on solar panel because I was just gonna stick it right on the roof of the rig and it was gonna be going highway speed. So my big concern would be obviously peeling off. Well, I did this project with my grandfather when I was in Oregon and on the bottom side of these panels, it's not like a 3M two-sided tape kind of thing. It's almost like a tar. When you peel it off, it freaking sticks. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. And I, I made the mistake of peeling off all the one side and then I tried to flip the sheet over in one movement and it gave a big bend and flipped and stuck in the corner. Well, I yelled to grandpa and he came and tried to help me peel it off, but I think we would have broke the panel before being able to peel it off the roof. So it's on a bit of an angle, which honestly really sucks. I am super bummed about that, but the functionality is no different. The great thing about these stick-on panels is they're flexible. So you can put them on practically any surface and the functionality is still going to be exactly the same. And you can also walk on top of them without any concern. So that's a really big benefit over top of a solid glass panel. Let me take you down and show you the charge controller. So this is the heart of the operation. And let me tell you, as far as installation, this was incredibly easy. I'm not a wiring person, so I just did the best I could, but we got household wiring, ran it down the side of the camper in little brackets, into the box here, and then into the charge controller. There's a certain sequence that you have to hook this up. Uh, it's batteries first and then panels, but it's literally just positive, negative, positive, negative and the panels and the charge controller do the rest. I do have my battery system separated. So the house batteries do the diesel air heater, the furnace, the water pump, and the lights, and my onboard airbags. That's it. As far as cameras and computers, all of my charging needs, that's done through the EcoFlow Delta Pro inside. Something else I've been enjoying tremendously that I didn't expect is the application that you can download to monitor this whole system, the Bouge RV app. I can go and see how the whole system is working, my charge throughout the day, my discharge throughout the day, and it's just helped build my confidence in this section of the rig, which is really important. Like I said, this is my first and only experience with solar, so I have nothing to compare it to. But as far as installation, functionality, I have to give this a 10 out of 10. It will replenish as much as I can use as far as power before I even wake up in the morning. We'll see if it stands up to the test of time. But at this point, a couple months now living in the rig, it gets the Destination Adventure seal of approval. Thanks for watching, everybody.